Hello, my name is Rohawk and I'm the founder of Empower Code, an initiative using technology and social activism to empower youth. If you want to learn more, feel free to visit our website at empowercode.org. Welcome to the third episode of Project Passion Site, a course where I will take you through the steps of creating a fully functional website from scratch and all along the way teach you beginner and advanced concepts in HTML and CSS. In addition, if you haven't already checked out the previous two episodes, I highly recommend you do so as they introduce the main mission and purpose of this course. Today, we will take our first steps in getting a fully functional website by installing and getting familiar with Brackets, which is a free, modern, open source code editor for web development and website creation. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. We are currently taking our first steps to website creation by installing Brackets, which is a modern open source text editor that is used for web design and web development. So currently, I want you guys to type up brackets.io on your browser. Now, once you're here, you will immediately be greeted by a display of what Brackets looks like when it's actually installed. So here on the left hand side, you immediately see a concept of sectionality as the files are sort of sorted and sectioned off into our working files and some of our project files. Here we see some HTML and CSS files and we see some documents in the forms of pictures and other text files that we can use. In the middle of the display, we see the code, which is color coded and very easy to read. And finally, on the right hand side, we see some extensions and managers that help us with our code and creating better efficient methods of writing code. Finally, if we scroll down to the bottom, we will see some of the features that Brackets has. Now, don't worry about this because I'll be explaining all of them in this video. But if you want to, feel free to go ahead and check these out and see for yourself what Brackets can really do. Alright guys, now in order to download Brackets and see what this is for ourselves, we simply click the download prompt on the middle of our screen and get to installation. Alright guys, so as you can see on the bottom of my screen, it is downloading a DMG file which will basically serve as a setup for installing Brackets. I'll meet you guys when it's over and hopefully we'll finally get started with Brackets. Great, now we have the editor installed. First, in the middle of our screen, we see a sample code for the Brackets homepage, but we don't need to worry about that right now. For our pleasure, let's change the color theme from white to black by clicking the view prompt at the top of our screen, then selecting themes in the drop down menu, and finally changing it from light to dark. As you can see, it's a lot more easier on the eyes, and it's definitely an improvement for what we had before. Now, let's discuss the advantages of Brackets. Brackets is a modern text editor that has a variety of uses. First off, it comes with built-in inline editors, which allow you to open up windows for selected files instead of having to open up a bunch of tabs to access different scripts. Secondly, perhaps the most attractive feature to Brackets is the live preview, which allows you to see your website in an actual Chrome browser and make changes in real time. So let's see this in action. So right here on the left hand side, we see this sort of lightning bolt. And if we click on that, it'll actually take us to a Chrome browser where we can see how our website looks when it actually is deployed. So here, this is sort of the sample page that Brackets gives you to start off. But as you can see, this is a great way to sort of test out your code and also see how it displays on an actual web page. The third feature that I want to talk to you guys about is the extension menu, which has a wide array of tools and methodologies that can help you out when you're creating your own website. The extension menu is very important because if you want to customize the way brackets looks in terms of the color theme, then you can always go to your extension menu and change it. But if you also want to add further elements to scan your code and look over it, such as lint and other sort of air finding methods, then you can also use the extension menu to do so. All right, now that we know what the extension menu is all about, let's install some useful extensions that we will be using for our own project. Now, for the purposes of this course, I only installed two extensions and here they are. So the first extension is the Brackets New Project Creator, which basically allows you to create new projects without having to leave Brackets. 
The next extension I downloaded or installed was the zoom wheel which basically helped me increase and decrease the font size with the mouse wheel. So these two are really helpful to me because they allowed for a greater efficiency when I'm teaching you guys and sort of going through all the code that you're going to need. But if you guys want to look for some extensions of your own, feel free to do so and sort of explore this library and see what extensions can really be useful to your own project. The final thing I want to talk about in relation to the extension menu is how you guys can actually interact with it. So there are four main sort of tabs here. The first one is available, which gives you a list of all the available extensions and their respective definitions. And then there's obviously a prompt where you can install it and see for yourself what it really does. So you can scroll through here, see which ones you find interesting and go ahead and install them. The next type of menu, which I personally love, is the themes menu, which allows you to customize the look of your workplace. So I like this a lot because for me, it added this element of individuality and I was able to play around with a bunch of colors and see how they looked. So go through this, find out which colors look the best to you and install the right ones. Finally, for the last two, they're pretty self-explanatory, but the installed menu shows basically all the extensions you have installed, what they do, and where they're located. The final menu is the default menu, which basically details a comprehensive listing of all the extensions that Brackets automatically downloads when you install it. So look through these, and if there are any that you don't want, then feel free to disable them. Well, now that we've discussed all the features and seen them in action, let's look at the layout of the editor. On the left hand side, we see our project partitioned into two sections, our working files and our project files. Now we haven't created our project just yet, but once we do, all the files from the project will be displayed on this bar. Now the working files are files that we are currently using and the project files are all the files located within our project. When you create a project in brackets, a folder is automatically created where all your scripts, files, and images are located. So now let's put this in action and create our own project for this course. We'll be creating a car gallery site, so let's go ahead and click on new project and create our car gallery folder. So let's go up here, click on file, and in the drop down menu, click on new project. Here, let's call this uh, car gallery. Awesome. Now we're not going to take a template because we want to write this from scratch. This looks great. So let's just go ahead and click OK. Now it's asking us if we would like to access the files in our documents folder. Let's just go ahead and say OK. Great. Now we've created our own personalized car gallery project. Let's open up the folder in which this is located. So if we click on this open folder, we see that it's located in the document section and it has automatically created a folder for us where all our scripts and files will be located. In my opinion, this is one of the best features on brackets because it's so efficient and you don't really need to do any manual work in order to get started. So as you can see, a folder is automatically created. So if you want images or external documents added to your project files, just add them to your project folder and they will automatically pop up in your project files. Now, let's say you want to work on two documents at once. Say an HTML markup with the CSS style sheet, you simply go to view and select horizontal or vertical split, depending on your personal preference. Alright guys, we have reopened the sample project that Brackets gives us to start off with. Now let's test out this horizontal and vertical split feature. So at the top of our screen, let's go ahead and click view and here you will see two options for a vertical split or a horizontal split. Let's go ahead and click horizontal split and here let's open up our CSS file in the bottom pane. So here, as you can see, this is a really, really great feature because you can work literally side by side on two different files and really see them in conjunction. Now, let's say we want to create our own index.html. Now, how would we even do that? So we add files to our project by creating a new file, then clicking save as, saving it to our project folder with the proper extension added at the end. So here, if we click on file and click on new right at the top here, then it'll give us this sort of untitled one, but that is not what we want. So we right click and we select save as, and here we save it as index, but we don't just write index. This is the really important part. You always want to specify the proper extension. So here we would write .html. If you wanted a CSS file, you would write .css and onwards. So here, if we just click save, 
now we have an index.html. Now notice here, we have working files and project files. This is the thing I was talking about earlier on. This is the distinction that really helps brackets distinctify whether you're working on something or whether it's just part of your project. And remember, adding an extension is extremely important because it lets brackets know what language we are writing in. Well, for the purposes of this course, this is all I have to share with you. Of course, I can always go further in depth, but for a beginner, this is all you really need to know to get started with brackets. In the next episode, we'll get started with HTML and design the basic layout for our homepage. If you're excited for that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.